Okay, great circle distances is what we're going to have a look at today. So remember a great circle is a circle that has the same radius as the Earth. So every one of our meridians, so our meridians of longitude, and only every meridian, sorry, and only the equator, which is our parallel of latitude. All of these have the same radius as the Earth. Now you might remember we talked briefly last person in the video about arc length. So arc length, remember, is a part of the circumference of the circle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Circumference equals 2 pi r. So part of that um, circumference is which part is it? It's a fraction of it, and the fraction is theta out of 360 times 2 times pi times r. So if we were looking to find the great circle distance... Well, what we say is that on the Earth, the shortest distance between two points is the arc length. So if here's my Earth, and here are A and B are my two points that are on either one a meridian of longitude or on the equator, the only parallel of latitude that is a great circle, then we can look to find the shortest distance between point A and point B by finding the angular distance or the angle that separates them and using the radius of the Earth to be 6,400 kilometres. And unless we're told, we do need to remember that the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometres. So we're just going to jump straight over to an example up here. So I've drawn some pictures of the globe and we've got the longitude 50 degrees west and the longitude 15 degrees east. I've got 48 degrees north but remembering that's not a great circle so I can't look at any distances and calculating using arc length the distances on that parallel of latitude. However I can look at some distances on the equator because it is the parallel of latitude that the only one that has the same radius as the earth. So I've drawn again just my square rect or my rectangular box and I've drawn in my zero, my prime meridian, my equator and then I've drawn in my 50 degrees west, 15 degrees east longitude meridians and then I've drawn in my 48 degrees north and looked at my A, D and C, the positioning of my points. So have a look between A, D first and A and D lie on the meridian 50 degrees west. So I can use the arc length to find the circle between them. So the angular distance between A and D, coming back if I was to measure it back towards the centre of the Earth, one's on the equator, one's on 48 degrees north, so there's a 48 degrees difference between A and D. So 48 out of 360 times 2 times pi times 6,400. Get a dot 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 answer, rounding it off. In this case I've just chosen to do it to the nearest kilometre. Looking at DC, D and C lie on the same uh, on the equator, so they lie on the parallel of latitude, which is also a great circle. Looking between D is over here on the west side of the prime meridian, 50 degrees west. C lies over here on the 15 degree east meridian. So together, 50 plus 15 means there's an angular distance between these two of 65 degrees. So 65 out of 360 times 2 times pi times 6400, dot, 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 and a rounded off version. So the two things that you probably need to remember is that to use the arc length formula and find distances, the two points need to lie on a great circle. So they have to have the same radius as the, equator, as, as the Earth. So basically they need to be any meridian of longitude or the equator they must lie on. And then we look at the angular distance between them. And the other thing you need to remember is that the radius of the Earth is 6,400.